What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and MCU. I'm your host, Warren Thompson, and Thor Love and Thunder has officially broken the trailer release date record for least amount of days between the teaser trailer releasing and the actual movie releasing in theaters. I think most of you know exactly what this means, but of course I'll talk about it in this video, and they did release a new promotional banner for Thor Love and Thunder today. So promotions are kicking up, but we still don't have that trailer. When can we expect it? And even though Thor Love and Thunder now has this new record, are they going to make it harder for other movies to beat and keep going? Let's go ahead and talk about all of this, and of course if you're new, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest Marvel news. Now, Marvel is running full steam ahead with all of their projects coming in 2022 and 2023. We kicked off with Moon Knight. The first two episodes have been awesome. And in less than a month now, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is going to premiere. Then, of course, we'll get Thor Love and Thunder and Black Panther Wakanda Forever. But we'll also get the Disney Plus shows in between. Miss Marvel, which is going to be coming out in June. We also have She-Hulk. We also have What If Season 2 and the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special and possibly where Werewolf by Night this October. So a lot of things happening right now, but Thor Love and Thunder is kind of right around the corner and we still don't have that first teaser trailer for it. And it just broke the record for least amount of days between the teaser trailer's release and the movie's release. Now, I think most people who have been following know that the record was held by The Incredible Hulk. And yes, I am talking about the 2008 film, The Incredible Hulk. It previously held the record for least amount of days between the trailer and the release at 93 days. And just to give you an example, we all thought we waited a really long time to get the trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home, but it didn't hold the record. There was actually 116 days between its teaser trailer and the official movie's release, which is still Still not a lot of days in between, but Thor Love and Thunder has broken that record. As I talk right now in this video, it is April 7th, and there are 92 days left until Thor Love and Thunder's July 8th, 2022 release date. Now, I know a lot of people are concerned that Thor Love and Thunder might get delayed. Sure, because the trailer isn't here yet, I understand. It's kind of a concern for myself as well, but they have started the press tour for it. They have started promotions for it. The trailer should be right around the corner. I'm not really worried about them delaying the film. I don't think they would have started with the press tour already if they were worried that the film was going to get delayed. And yes, they were doing reshoots and they might need some of that footage to release the trailer, but I still don't think this means the movie is going to get delayed. They work on movies a lot of the times, right up until the movies are actually released. And Marvel Studios is kind of known for doing this. They put a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of effort into editing their movies and making sure they're fantastic. And it shows in the quality of the movies. So I wouldn't be too concerned about Thor Love and Thunder getting delayed yet, but of course, the question is, when are we getting this trailer? Well, if you followed my channel for a while, you know that I have a couple of trailer sources, but they usually tell me when a trailer is a few days away from coming out, not when it's like a couple of weeks or anything like that. So I don't think it's coming out this week. Otherwise, I think I would have heard about it. But since the press tour has started, since new promotions are coming out, I'm pretty hopeful for next week, if not, hopefully the week after that. Because at that point in time, the record for days between the release of the trailer and the official movie is going to be in the 80s. And it's weird to think that there's gonna only be a couple of months and some change in between this official trailer release, teaser trailer, I might add, not even an official full trailer, and the movie's theatrical release. That's pretty crazy as it is right now. But like I said, a new promotional banner for Thor Love and Thunder has also been released today. And we get a better look at Thor's new outfit and a little bit of a better look at Jane Foster's new Thor outfit as well. And as you can see, she's holding Mjolnir. It has been broken and mended. You can see all of the cracks in it. And of course, Thor has Stormbreaker. And I might add, we haven't really heard anything about how Thor is going to get in shape again because the last time we saw him, he was bro Thor. I'm really hoping we have somewhat of a workout montage, a funny workout montage in the beginning of Thor Love and Thunder to watch him get back in shape. And here we get a good look at his new gold and blue outfit, which seems to be a little bit of a modern twist on his comic gold and blue outfit. And hopefully he'll rock his helmet with wings because as we can see here, Jane Foster is wearing a helmet with wings just like her character does in the comic. So hopefully we see Thor get to do that as well. And credits to DisneyFile.fr for finding this banner. 
So that's it for the Thor Love and Thunder news today. It has officially broken the record for at least amount of days between the teaser trailer's release and the movie's release. And again, hopefully we get that pretty soon. But let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comments down below. Sorry for the short videos. I'm still feeling kind of sick. But still, don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all the latest Marvel news. Don't forget to like the video. And for live updates, you can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.